and thanks for watching The Daily Flake. I hope your Christmas was amazing because ours certainly was with Santa delivering a beautiful blue sky day. It hasn't snowed since my last report, unfortunately, so it's looking a bit skied out on the mountain, but you can still get out there and find some good stuff in amongst the trees because there is lots of terrain open. Unfortunately, today wasn't one of Nisico's finest. It was quite windy at the top of the mountain and temperatures were mild, around minus 6, which may sound cold, but you do get quite used to temperatures down to minus 10 and below around here. We did also have some light snowfalls, but it was the low cloud that was making life a bit difficult for skiers and snowboarders. It's quite common here that visibility will be fine around the lower slopes, but often as you get higher, the cloud gets thicker. So I definitely recommend packing a pair of goggles with a low light lens for your trip to Nisico. The cover is still in great shape across the resort and the groomed runs were looking nice and smooth. Checking in with the other resorts, thanks to snowinsurance.com.au and it was a cold and blizzardy morning at Ferrano today. Maybe a good one to stay indoors and let the powder snow accumulate nicely until the winds die down. They have had consistent snowfalls the last few days so conditions are looking good. At Harkabar it started snowing early this morning and they should receive further heavier falls later this week. It was also a cold and snowy Monday at Shiga Kogan. It is starting to get quite busy around town and there's a great buzz thanks to how much snow there is on the ground and lots of bars and restaurants are open so there's plenty to do both on and off the mountain. We are expecting heavier falls throughout this week so don't worry there's going to be plenty of powder out there for everyone. I'm Christy in Nisico for The Daily Flake.